Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to Sakura Dungeon. Last time we were exploring the 19th floor. And I do apologize if my mic sounds a little bit different today. I'm having to use a different one. And uh, I'll try my best to keep things not too bad, consistent, whatever you want to call them. Alright. Locked door, no visible keyhole. Heard. Um, door locked from the other side. Alright, I guess we're forced to go this way. An event, and an event. Interesting. I guess we'll go left first. We come across a mechanical lever embedded into the ground. Siri looks at it closely. So what do you suppose it does, asks Siri. I cannot say for sure, says Yomi. Perhaps we should use it and find out. The floor. This floor has multiple levers. Doors will unlock and unlock according to what levers you use. Fascinating. Different levers mean different doors unlock. Locked. Ah, so that's how it works, says Yomi. We pull the levers and it unlocks doors. Seems simple enough, says Siri. I've seen these kinds of puzzles a couple of times. Okay, let's see what's behind this door. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be all kinds of suspicious about this. All right, nothing to see here. Well, let's try this one. Mechanical lock. Um, move over this way, maybe. You unlock the door. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. That that's the door back to the main area. Gotcha. 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 Well, I suppose I do need a broom witch, don't I? Let's go for her. These two should be easy to take down. Thunder, she dodged, triple slash, will definitely take her out. Uh, let's see. Pop over to you. Goodbye, cat witch. She won't be too difficult to take down on a couple epi er, episodes. A couple turns. <laughs> I should be gone. I don't even. I must have recording on the brain. All right. Now we can focus on our true, our true thing we desire. Excellent, excellent. We'll do some small attacks now. Looks like our hammer warrior might be about to go down. Oh shoot! What, what the? I, 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 apparently I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay, so that one unlocks this, which is 125 mana shards. Nothing. I wonder what's in that spot I haven't found right there. Alright. If that opens that door. Let me see. Hang on. Um, okay, so that was both the levers being on. Alright, let's see if this door is... Alright, let us see if this door is open. It is. Okay. What have we here? Nothing. Nope. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, that wouldn't really make sense. Hello, battle. Ooh, okay, this is my... This is the real chance I get. I will get here this time. Um... Okay. All right. Um. Uh, almost. Single slash should finish you off. Life steal. Ooh, big crit. All right. Triple slash. Ooh, another big crit. 
Okay. Uh, life steal. Water orb. We're just gonna slowly work her down. I don't wanna mess it up like last time. Aha! Alright, this might be able to... 12! Nice! Nice! Very nice! We finally got a broom witch. So, what was the deal with this witch? Asked Siri. A broom? Why a broom exactly? She asked. It's a ceremonial thing, Yomi replies. When a witch reaches a certain level of proficiency, they are given a broom. It requires a good deal of concentration for a witch to be able to levitate constantly. For a witch to make herself levitate, and at the same time cast extremely potent magical spells? That witch would need to be very strong, right? asked Yomi. I suppose so, Siri replies. So, it's a good thing that we've captured her, Yomi says. Another powerful ally can only be a good thing. Alright, so, no time has passed for y'all, but I'm sure you can already tell the difference in my mic. Yeah, I just stopped and waited a couple of days for my new mic to come in. <laughs> my, my new mic, my new mic cord, whatever. But, uh, yeah. Um, I hope the audio wasn't too bad. I know it's, well, before post, it's a bit ear rapey, but, uh, that's okay. I'll fix that. Alright, moving on. Alright. Bye. Oh. Hello. As we walk through the door, Siri looks around us. This doesn't feel right, Siri says. Whatever do you mean, asks Yomi. There's someone here, Siri says. I can just tell. This reeks of... Before she can even say anything, she suddenly shoved me to the side. A dagger that... A dagger had just embedded itself into the wall behind where I was standing just a few seconds before. I knew it, Siri says. It's an ambush. Siri shouts are enough to alarm the entire group. Yomi, are you okay? Silv asks quickly. Silv immediately rushes to my side. There are no wounds or anything, are there? She asks desperately. I am a medical kid if you're hurt. I'm fine, Yomi says. Do not worry about me in a very calm voice. What is interesting is that I did not even sense it earlier, Yomi says. Whoever our foe is, they are really good at hiding themselves. Damn it, Fox, says the Hammer Warrior. Be more careful than that. A dagger of all things. Merely a, a child's toy, says the nine-tailed fox. I wonder how they will cope against magic, she asks. Suri pulls out her blade and begins looking around the room. Show yourself, coward, she says. Mist begins to appear in the room until it is nearly impossible to see through it. In that mist, a woman clad in veils approaches us, a wicked-looking dagger in either hand. She looks at us with cold, unfeeling eyes. There is nothing else this could possibly be, says Siri. We're facing an assassin fox, she says. The assassin just looks at us with those eyes. Her silence is almost eerie. Siri looks tense, far tenser than I have ever seen her before. I have fought assassins before, Siri says. There's no way I wouldn't not recognize those dangers. Yomi, Siri says, do not underestimate this foe. If you make a single mistake, she will make sure you won't live to make another. I do not think I have seen Siri act this serious before. Very well, Yomi replies. I will not underestimate her. Good, Siri says. Even you would be in danger if she managed to reach you. The two warriors stand off, Siri and the assassin circling one another. I wonder what the outcome of this battle will be, Siri says. Not surprising, I was expecting a dodge of some sort of that. He's got a card. Is that really getting for all this dodging?
You don't need mana, little girl. Or, I'm sorry, you don't need mana, girl. Not little girl. That makes this creepy. Um, yeah, girl, you don't need no mana. Let me just suck it all up from you. Yes, give me thine mana. I can't say I've ever used tactics like this, but I certainly do like it. Goodbye. Out of my face. Assassin Siri says, I once had, once had a job as a bodyguard for a family of nobles. These damn cowards were crawling everywhere. I had no idea they were monsters, however. It does explain a lot in retrospect, Siri says. You really scared me there, Yomi Silver Mitts. That assassin nearly killed you, yet you didn't even seem bothered by it. Are you simply not afraid of death, Silv asks? I'm not afraid of anything much these days, Yomi says. Well, Silv says, when someone tries to kill you, at least act surprised. It, I, she stammered. Just stay safe, Silv says, finally. Why is it that she didn't speak a word? Yomi asked. Every other monster here seems to have something to say. Assassins take a bow of silence before they begin their gruesome work, Siri says. That's about as much as I know about them. If there's assassins here, then I can only guess what the dungeon lord has been using them for. Siri seems to be piecing something together. Now that I think about it, Siri says. There were a lot of assassination attempts up to the point where I, where I was sent to this dungeon. A lot of political turmoil, too. Do you think the dungeon lord has been deliberately inciting chaos in the human cities? asked Yomi. It's more than possible, Siri admits. Especially if she has these assassins working for her. And if she were doing that, Siri says, then perhaps she's aiming to topple the human cities, Yomi says. Is that why I haven't been able to get a good catnap all this time? asked the cat girl. All this for a silly war against humanity? she asked. Eh? Who could care less about the human city? says the hammer warrior. Besides, it's not like she's going to succeed. I, for one, Siri says, do not care about the human cities. My home is probably going to be. I'm sorry. I, for one, Siri says, do care about the human cities. My home is probably going to be destroyed. The hammer warrior just gives a shrug. Don't get all doom and gloom on me, says the hammer warrior. These assassins are but mere insects, says the nine-tailed fox. If the humans are incapable of dealing with them, then, it, then that is their own fault, she says. Perhaps they are not strong enough to survive in this world, says the nine-tailed fox. Are you sure you know about humanity as much as you claim to? asked Siri. Why do you ask, Knight? asked the five nine-tailed fox. You may have lived hundreds or even thousands of years, longer than I have, says Siri. But have you ever met any humans that you would deem worthy of your respect or care? asked Siri. Of course, says the nine-tailed fox. Just not enough to deem humanity as a whole worth earning my respect, though, says the nine-tailed fox. But perhaps that could change soon. She has power, she has ambition, says Yomi. Both of these things combined are very dangerous. We will have to hurry up, Siri, says Yomi. I have a feeling that terrible things are beginning, being set in motion, even as we speak. I agree, says Siri. When I left the human cities, everyone was at each other's throats. Even my guildmates weren't able to escape the political divide there, there was in the cities. If they were to be attacked now, then I doubt anyone would be able to survive it, says Siri. Alright, everybody. I'm going to call it here for this episode. As always, I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you next time whenever we continue exploring the 19th floor? 18th? Whatever it may be. You should know if you watch the beginning of this episode. Alright, I'll see you next time.